It's what you do. Hello, today we're doing another episode of Draw Your Journal. If you're new here, and a lot of you probably are new because Instant Influencer is airing on Wednesday and I'm assuming you're gonna look at this video of mine first. Draw Your Journal is my book that I wrote. It's available now on Amazon. Before I even wrote Draw Your Journal, I was actually looking on Amazon and just in bookstores for a prompt journal that I could use as a kind of diary and I discovered that that really didn't exist. So I wrote it. Draw Your Journal is a prompt journal that has prompts that are all about you. It lets you explore your interests, record your thoughts, and just discover all there is to know about you. So rather than writing paragraphs about your day in a journal, now you can draw about your day in this journal. Each page is a prompt that's related to you as a person, so my my series is about me as a, as a person. I think we get it. Let's just get started. Okay, so here is my draw your journal. I'm flipping to the page that says, draw your pun, draw a picture with two meanings. As an example, we have laughs more, worry less, and there's a picture of a s'more. Once I was done with my sketch, I took out my eraser, which was conveniently on top of my pencil, and erased my pencil markings. I also took out Marge. Marge is actually one of the first squishies I ever created, and I love her a lot. I'm using these colored pencils, as well as this very small white colored pencil, to draw this Marge pun. So if you don't know what a pun is, basically it's something that has two meanings, a word that has two meanings, or even a picture. Marge is a combination between a snail and an axolotl. I think, I don't know how to say that. I know I said it wrong in my first Squishy Makeover video and a lot of people were like, no, you said it wrong, but I've been practicing. Axolotl. 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 I'll get there. Anyway, so I'm coloring in Marge with her typical tie-dye swirl in the center. That's kind of the third piece of her combo. She's a snail, axolotl, and tie-dye. A lot going on for her. I personally am a really big fan of drawing tie-dye. I find it very easy to do and it turns out looking cool almost every time I do it. So I, I quite enjoyed this page. It was quite simple, but very fun. But it's not just fun. It's also a pun. See what I did there? I'm rhyming. <sighs> For this pun, Marge is going to say something. So since Marge is part snail, she's gonna say, snailed it, get it? Instead of nailed it, she snailed it, cause, cause she's a snail. Marge, you're so funny. You're hilarious. She's such a jokester. Honestly, Marge is a mess at all times, as we like to say, and Marge is just one of my favorite characters that I've probably ever made. I think she's just funny as a character. She just looks odd, which is something I really like about her. I find her quite endearing and I love the pun. If you would like to preview Draw Your Journal, you can actually go to my website, bellamina.com, and if you click on the newsletter tab under home, enter your email into that subscription box, and I will email you five extra pages that are not included in the book, and you can like preview what it's like to own the book. Moving on to the page that says, draw your juiciest secret. Use your secret language if necessary. Juiciest secret, juiciest secret. I can't say it. For this page, I am sketching out a boy's face, taking out my eraser and just erasing all of the lines on this boy's face until you can no longer see my sketches anymore. Where did they go? Spooky. Taking out my Prismacolor colored pencils. This is a 132 pack of colored pencils and we are going to be using this to color in the boy's face. By this point, I'm sure you've guessed who the male is. It's ZHC or Zach. I have been keeping a secret from you guys that I did reveal to you a week ago, but I thought I'd talk a little bit more about it since the show is going to be airing on Wednesday and I know everything. Oh my gosh. Like I said in my last video, I am one of the contestants on Instant Influencer Season 2 with ZHC. It airs this Wednesday, October 27th. I'm assuming that most people that end up watching the show will watch this video first. So if you're 
from Instant Influencer from the future. Hello. Welcome. Ah, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yes. Okay. So Instant Influencer. I can't actually tell you any information about the show. How annoying. I know. It is annoying. I wish I could tell you. I'm actually just not allowed to reveal any information until it has been aired on the show. So you do actually have to watch it if you want to find out what happens. In summary, I have secrets and I can't tell you them. If we move our attention to the actual piece that I'm drawing here, I am attempting to draw Zack's face. Now, when you judge my art, I would like it to be taken into consideration that one, I don't usually do realism. Two, I've literally never done a realistic portrait with colored pencils ever. So this is really like my first ever actual attempt at doing realistic skin with colored pencils only, so go easy on me, please. If there's one thing I've learned from using colored pencils is that you need to build the color up very slowly. And I mean very slowly. Like, do not press the pencil too hard or it will, not to be dramatic, ruin everything. I realized the iris was in the wrong location. I moved it over slightly. Realize, realize, realize. I also colored in the eyebrow individually, each hair. I looked at a photo of Zach and really tried to get the exact eyebrow pattern that he has. Taking out some blue and green colored pencils to color in Zach's sweatshirt. Another part of my colored pencil strategy has been to start with the shading first. So in this case for the sweatshirt, I started with a warm gray and then I started adding in the blue tones. After I had all of my tones in, I blended everything out. After that, I moved on to the hair. I would say this part of the piece gave me the most problems just because I didn't watch any tutorial videos on how to do hair with colored pencils ahead of time. So I was kind of just guessing. Overall, I think the hair turned out okay, all things considered, but there is some room for improvement in future pieces. To the left of Zach, I decided to draw a paint splash or a paint blob. The thumbnail for the trailer for the Instant Influencer show has a bunch of paint splashes behind Zach. So I thought it would be fun to have one big pink paint splash right next to Zach's face to kind of like hint at the Instant Influencer thing. By the time I was done actually drawing this paint splash, I felt like I wanted it to be a little more obvious about the Instant Influencer thing. So right in the center of the paint splash, I wrote Instant Influencer. In hindsight, it probably would have been more fun to use my secret language, but I didn't think of it at the time, and now I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing it. But this is what the final page turned out looking like. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I think the drawing does actually resemble Zach. I know it's not like exact, exact Zach. There's too many puns. I also know it's gonna be really fun to look back at this page when I finally complete draw your journal and do a flip through and just go, oh yeah, remember right before Instant Influencer aired. I like that I have that documented. Before we move on to the next page, I just wanted to say thank you so much to anyone that has bought Draw Your Journal. I know so many of you have gotten it and so many of you have been sending me pages. I love seeing them. These all look so cute. Let's move on to the next page. Draw your nails. Draw your ideal manicure. My nails currently have a gel manicure on them and that is actually because I recently purchased my own gel manicure set from Amazon. Fancy. It comes with a UV light and everything. I feel like an official nail person. Exciting stuff. I can get a professional level gel manicure at home for the low, low price of, you guessed it, $39.99. $39.99. I paid like $80. I guess it was for my hands and my feet, but I'm never doing that again. Am I being dramatic? Sure, sure, I'm being a bit dramatic. But in all seriousness, all my nail problems have been solved. I frequently, obviously, am showing my hands on camera on the internet, and I just don't want my nail polish to be chipped. So we've got that problem solved, and I'm documenting this momentous occasion in my journal. On the left side of the page, I'm drawing some drippy nail polish bottles. This is something I've been wanting to draw for a while. I know it was a trend on Instagram where I saw a bunch of these pictures coming up. 
I don't know who the original artist was for that, but I'll try to link them if I can find it. I chose to do a hot pink on the bottom, a nude pink in the middle, and then a purple color on top. While I do like the way this page came out, I do have a minor complaint. I feel like the hands outline the black outline is too dark by comparison, and it makes it look like it's drawn in a different style when it really wasn't. In spite of that one complaint, I do really like the nail polish on the left side. And here are all three of the pages that I did for this episode of Draw Your Journal. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you'd like to purchase Draw Your Journal, it is available now on Amazon. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Hey.